Alright, so welcome to the Dragon Fable free to play walkthrough. I'm sorry if the music is really loud right now. Um, you can't actually turn it down on this menu, which is a little bit annoying. Either way, though, uh, the reason why I'm doing like a walkthrough, I've been wanting to do one for quite a while, and it was suggested to me a couple of times by some of you. Um, but the reason why it's free to play is because. Obviously not everyone has a dragon amulet, and this will be for players who do not have one, but also it'll be for players who also do have one. It'll work for pretty much everyone, which is why it's free to play. So one thing I want to state, this is just going to be a, a little walkthrough for the main story of the game in all three books. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm not going to be going through and doing like all the guides for the classes and in challenges because it's not really part of the main game, uh, this is just for the story, so the order of what you're going to play stuff in and just other stuff as well, like different types of help to get you through the story, like what classes to use, where to get weapons and stuff like that. Uh, so the series is going to be edited, um, it's not a really a, a type of series to show you the story and what happens like I'm not gonna read out quest dialogue it's just gonna be about what you should do and how you should do it and maybe the stuff you do along the way but either way though let's actually get started so let's create a character I have made a new account now uh, your main class um, some are better than others and um, but when it comes to the main story of the game just use whatever you want uh, all of them are about as good me personally, I like the warrior the most, so for this, I'm just going to go the warrior. Alright, so I made that character. I'm just going to click create, and then done. And then it's going to bring it back to the menu. And then I'm going to play my character. So, um, we're going to start on book one and two. Book one and two are kind of joined together a little bit. So that's why they're in this one tab here. We can actually do book two first, but we're not going to. We're going to do it in order. You can also start on book 3, but book 1. I'm going to skip through all of this stuff because, um, you know, if you guys are playing it for yourself, there's not really much point in me showing them, so I'm going to skip right through it. Uh, one thing I will say though, during any cutscenes or gameplay, if there's anything useful that you guys should know, I will tell you, so I'm not going to skip over everything. Um, if there's some really challenging bosses, in the um, uh, story, in the quests, I'll give some tips on how you can kill them, uh, maybe what weapons to use and stuff like that, so I will be telling useful stuff, but I think for the most part a lot of gameplay is going to get cut out, unless um, maybe I've got some guides, maybe some tips on how to use your abilities or something, so um, yeah. Alright, so we've got Twilly. Um, Twilly is going to be a companion that we can grab at any point in the game by going to the main city of Falkirich, we can grab him whenever we want. So right now we're going to get him to help us, offer to help him. Um, what Twilly is going to do is going to be able to attack enemies. At this level he'll do like between 1 and 5 damage, uh, but he does heal us. So um, I think his heals are about 25 HP per heal. Oh, that was a big hit. Yeah, so we got a heal there. I mean, we're at full health, so it didn't really make a difference. But if we keep... Um, nope. And now we're level 2. So um, when we level up, we get 20 health, 5 mana, and 5 stat points. Now, stat points are a thing that we're going to... I'll show you in a second um, what they mean. And now we are in Oaklaw Keep. So um, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, right now, we're going to completely ignore all this. Um, everything around here is blocked off till now. Um, but here, inside, we have Rolith. Now, if you want to uh, progress in the main story, just press this preset message, message here. Uh, these are a couple of little things I want to discuss first. Um, you don't really want to be pressing this straight away. There's a lot of cool stuff we can get in Oaklaw. So over at World of Theatre, we've got how to play. Um, we don't really need that. I'm going to describe a lot of things. Uh, set a hometown. This place is already our hometown. Now what that means is, 
when we press our uh, book of law down here, we can go to go to hometown, uh, which teleports us to our hometown. Um, Oakley is already set, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we also have uh, Rollis quests. I don't, I've never actually done these before. It's just killing bandits. So we don't have to worry about those. Um, Oakley keep quests are gonna tell us all of the NPCs in the area that have quests for us to do. So if you have a dragon amulet, you can invite Rolith as a guest uh, to help you with your quest. But obviously we're not gonna do that because we don't have one. Uh, we can train our stats. So when we leveled up, yeah, you would have noticed that we got uh, five stat points. So these are right here. Now if I'm gonna go through them real quick, what they do. Oh, and by the way, it costs 20 gold per stat point to actually um, go up. If you have an amulet, it will be free. You have to pay anything. For each level, we're going to have to pay about 100 gold to put the stats into our little stats. Alright, so I'm going to go through what each stat means and which one you should use for your character. Now, um, strength, as it says here, increases melee damage and damage done with non-critical attacks. So um, I have picked a warrior, a warrior class, so my main attribute for damage will be strength. Um, underneath it says dex, increases pierce damage and damage done to foes afflicted by damage over time effects. Um, this is a stat for your rogue class, so if you pick a rogue this is the stat that's going to increase your damage. I know it sounds very weird how it says melee because rogues are technically melee. It doesn't, strength doesn't actually make a difference to a rogue, only dex does. So intelligence, increases magic damage and damage done by critical hits. So um, if, if your uh, mages, your damage is gonna scale from this. Um, and your charisma, um, increases guests and pet damage, also increases XP and gold from battle now. One thing I will state, this stat sounds really, really good, but it's not as good as what you think it is, because each point in this gives you a very small multiplier. I think by, um, when you have 200 points in this stat, which is max level, it will give you about 20% more XP in gold, which is nice, but for all of the stat points, it's not really worth it, so in my opinion, maybe stay away from this stat. I don't think it's that good, but you can use it if you want, I guess. Now, we have our Endurance. This is probably one of our better attributes to get. So it increases maximum health and increases immobility resistance. Each time you put a point in this, it's going to add 5 HP. So if we put all our 5 points in this, we would get 25 bonus health, which is quite a lot. And the same goes for Wisdom here. Uh, wisdom increases the maximum amount of mana, increases healing and bonus to hit. So um, basically the same as your health, your mana is used for your skills. Um, so 5 points can get us 25 mana. And we also have luck here. It increases um, crit, uh, crit uh, avoidance and many other small things. I never really leveled this stat, but you guys can if you want, maybe if you're doing a rogue. Where you got some decks. And uh, we can also put some luck in there, I guess. So I know what you're thinking. We have zero gold. Well, we have 21. But we don't have enough to uh, actually level, so... Uh, I'll give you a little tour around to Oaklaw. Uh, this guy here is going to give us all of our early game quests. Uh, which are these first quests that we're going to be doing. Uh, we've first done uh, this woman in here. We can trade, um, well, we can trade, uh, book delivery. And if we find anything during our quests, apart from these three, um, we can trade them in for these items. So if we find a dusty old term, we'll get a shellac, which is a pretty low level crappy pet. Uh, we also have a cape, uh, a one skull cap. And heavy chain bell, which don't actually have an appearance. So if you do actually find any of the sketchbooks, you can always trade them in for these. Oh, by the way, these are dragon amulet items. 
I didn't actually know that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, only you better get these if you got a dragon emulator, obviously. Alright, so to our left over here, uh, we'll have uh, this guy. This quest here, Sad Jing's Weapons. We're gonna do when we get to level 10. Now, this quest is quite difficult, but um, we're gonna get some really good weapons that we're gonna be keeping for a while. Um, definitely very good to use. Um, but that being said, inside here, uh, this guy will give us heal and potions, uh, which is completely pointless because we can click the Book of Law down here and just get them here. So we don't have to worry about that, but he does have a little quest, the honey quest. Uh, but that being said, we're going to go back to the right and in here. And here we have our weapons. So if you got a dragon armor, you can buy weapons here or rings or stuff. And we have a weapon shop and also on here. Well, we don't have one there, but you know. Um, so for my cast, I'll be using swords and axes. Um, so there's some here we can get um, bronze blade, very basic weapons, but um, we're going to be getting this one because it is one of the best weapons that we can get so far. Um, we might be getting what, some of these, but we'll think about it. So if we keep going to the right, we have uh, this here and we also have um, a quest where we just kill some like pigs. <laughs> Bit weird um, but we also have this guy um, stuff there first now uh, pranks there is one thing that you're gonna want well you, you might want you can get a pet from this quest here and um, what I call poo poo but <laughs> um, it, it can be level 1 level 10 or level 30 the reason why I said this is because it's probably one of the better pets for us to get early game. Um, so we'll get that in a sec. Well, later. So we had a little bit of a gold problem. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here and go do the catapult mini game. And inside this mini game, we just gotta shoot some of these bandits. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It means how bad your accuracy is, I guess. <laughs> Um, or if the game wants to be nice, because sometimes it you just start hit things. Even though you would have thought a massive explosion like that would um wipe out a little bit more than just none of them. Right, there you go. And we only got one apparently. I guess the other guy uh, body blocked him. Um, there we go. So we got thirty gold from this quest which is pretty good so what we're going to do right now we're going to be do farming this quest for a little bit uh, for at least 150 for the weapon and maybe some extra for the stat points alright so now we have 321 gold uh, you're going to want about 300 um, so I keep going to totally get that much uh, we're now going to go buy um, the level 3 weapon the level 2 is already worth it, it's not really going to take as long to get to level 3. Um, so we're going to get this one. We don't really need the level 3 to be honest, but you can get it if you want. Uh, and the level 5. Now the level 5 is going to be very helpful for a later boss. So now we got those. Okay. I don't believe I've ever had my game crash like that before. Either way though. Um, we're going to your bag, we've now got the weapons, we can't actually use them yet. But what we're going to do, we're going to equip them. And you can actually press save here to save the equipped weapons. Which we need a dragon amulet for. I forgot about that. Either way, that's what you can do if you've got an amulet, obviously. Alright, so now we've got our weapons and um, we have not got our stat points, I almost forgot. So um, stat points, we've got 5 because we're level 2. We leveled up, so we've got five. Uh, I'm just going to put them straight in my health. I always believe that health is better for early game. And um, mana as well. Because look at that increase. That little chunk there. It's nice to be able to get a lot more health. Either way though. Um, so the quests that we're going to be starting now. Are the ones over at this guy. This guy is the easiest quest for us to do. 
So we're just going to play through these. Uh, the forest is, well, the easiest quest in the game pretty much. Uh, he's got to kill some Sneevels. They all have 5 HP, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, attack. Uh, this attack, which is your base attack, costs uh, 0 mana. Um, so it's a free attack, but it's our worst one, probably. Uh, this is a double attack, which we get after a successful normal attack. I can't really show you because this guy will be dead in one hit anyway. I can show you, but... Well, no, I can't. It would have hit twice if we survived. Uh, this attack is going to give us 20% uh, more damage for 5 turns, which is really nice. But for right now, we're just going to whack all these. And as you can see, we got a whole level up from those three enemies. <laughs> yeah, so these quests are a little bit weird. I never really liked the way these ones worked. Uh, you just basically got to go through like a big maze full of enemies. And the, um, you got to find the end, kill the boss, and then you're done. So um, it's not really much point to me um, showing you guys all of this. But um, yeah. Oh yeah, and you can also find in-game healing pads, which are very useful. Sometimes when there's like two branching pathways, well, one of them will take you to a healing pad, which will restore your mana and your health, uh, which is very useful. And not for this quest because it's very easy, but still. Wow, this guy was a very big increase since the um. The stupid goblins, low, low, 37 HP, so I'm going to get my buff attack. And then we can beat the shit out of him. So um, we get a multi, a double. Nice. And then the next attack, since we are now level 3, we unlocked this attack, which is a triple. We didn't get to see it, but still. And now we're level 4, which we get um, the same health and mana, uh, but 5 more stat points again. And at level 4, we got this attack, uh, the mana strike. Attacks MP instead of HP, so if you're fighting an enemy that is quite annoying with its um, magical abilities, I guess, uh, you can attack its MP to damage it instead of, um, well, hitting its health bar, so... Right then it did 5, but this guy is 0 anyway, so it did nothing. But it damages MP instead of actually hurting him. I never really use that attack, but it can be useful sometimes, I guess. Now, from a quest reward, we did actually get this. Now, it's not very good, but um, one thing to say... You do actually get items from Quest Rewards, so it's very useful. Now, obviously the weapon's really bad, which in this case it is. We already have the metal weapon that is way better. So we're going to equip our level 3 that we bought. We can always go to uh, this guy here, and uh, go to whatever shop, and then sell it. 25 gold, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice bonus to have. Uh, another thing, we did get a few stat points to use, but um, we're just going to keep going because um, these quests are quite easy anyway, so um, the quests are quite easy, so we're not really going to fail, and plus we have a healing pad right there, which is very nice. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, this quest here is incredibly long, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip it, you guys can if you want. But you do get some very nice XP here. So uh, keep it if you want. Skip it if you want. Um, but yeah. Either way. Ninja Dojo. Uh, this quest is obviously a bit better. Because we can one shot most enemies. Well almost one shot. And we um, level up again. So level, now level 5. Uh, we do now have um, some more abilities that we got from leveling. A shield. Which is going to give us defense. We're pretty much indestructible now. For um, however many turns your shield will last for. Uh, two turns in this case. But we do get 50% more damage. Which is amazing. 
It's quite a, quite a high amount, that's why the warrior is so good. Attack is stunned for three rounds. Okay. Very nice. He would have died anyway, but um Yeah, so basically if you stun an enemy, they can't attack you for three turns. Uh this a 75% damage plus attack. So this is a really powerful attack. There you go. And at level six. We got a multi attack which hits all enemies. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Wow, that was a massive hit. Also, being level 6 means that we can actually use this sword we bought, which is a very good weapon at this point in the game. Is um, we're, gonna, we're just going to blister everything now. There you go. Look at that damage. <laughs> uh, inside here, uh, some barrels. And a doorway that is going to lead to a couple of enemies, but more importantly, a healing pad right behind them. We didn't really need that healing pad because we're getting so many levels to the point where we're just getting it back anyway, but still. <laughs> okay, so we have a boss battle. So, a good strategy for bosses um, always check his stats, see what it resists. Uh, sometimes enemies resist stun. You can't stun them, um, but in this case we have uh, a few choices. Now we did, get, we did get trip, which is a completely useless ability. Enemies can't even run away anymore. Now I don't know why they never changed the ability, but still, um, the fence. So we get a big shield, and we also get a lot more damage. Um, it's always useful to use your buff attacks. This way we now have 70% more damage. And we almost one shot that guy. Well not really but we did a lot of his health. And then I always use my throw attack. Because it does such a high amount of damage. But there we go. And to complete the quest we get a blood letter dagger. So as usual keep the weapons. And just go sell them. If they're either rubbish. Or they're for a class that you can't use it on. So, for example, we can't really use daggers, and it's worth 45 gold, which is very nice. So, um, there you go. Uh, one thing is, which is a little bit of a problem, but we do actually have a lot of stats to train, so we have 25 points. Alright, so to do this, all these 25 points, we're going to need 500 gold, which is quite a lot, but it's definitely worth doing this, so, um... Right now we have 127, uh, what I will do now um, is just go do this with catapult again until we get a maximum of 500. So it might take some time, but it's the best way to get money at this point in the game. So um, there's no faster option unless you get farm some quests and maybe try and get some weapons that you can sell. But you know, th this mini game will eventually take you like no time to do. Because you'll start getting better at it and faster at it, and you'll start complete it in about 10 seconds. So, um, it's pretty fast. Alright, so now we've got 517 gold. Uh, we're finished now. So, we'll go to Rolith. It only took about 5 minutes, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm gonna press train by 10s, and it'll mean you don't have to spam the button. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put 10 here. Um, I'm going to put bad down to here, let's put 5 more in here. Uh, I'm also going to start putting 10 in here. Uh, so get them all magic stuff. Um, next I will be putting in my strength. Um, but for right now I think these are most useful. So I'm going to train this. Goodbye 500 gold. There you go. Alright so we are level 7. I am going to leave this on here. I do want to get the whole of Vocal done in like one video, but I will be recording for like two hours. I'm already recording now for like almost an hour, so um, you know, next time I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna quickly run through what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we have the rest of these guys' quests to do. Um, we have a couple. Um, when we get to level ten, we're gonna go do the Serging's weapons quest some very good weapons um we're also gonna go do um this quest over here um to get this pet um 
which we'll want at level 10. So we're just going to wait till level 10 before we do this, just to, you know, I don't think it really makes a difference, but it might, you might need to be level 10 to get the level 10. But either way, though, thank you for watching, I will see you on the next part. I'll try and get this out as fast as I can, and um, bye-bye.